Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading uh, for the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 2021. Uh, these are the Aries that are currently with a new love. Uh, so these are the Aries that are currently dealing with someone that they just started dating or that, you know, that you guys are in a new relationship with. So we are going to take a look at your new love to see what they're currently feeling and thinking about you. Um, and we'll finish off the read to see what their intentions are moving forward with you. Um, so before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get alerts on new content that's being uploaded onto my channel. Give this video a thumbs up so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear it. Um, right now, currently, I do have my comment section turned off because I was getting a lot of spam. I'm just going to keep them off for a bit. I hope to turn them on back, uh, turn them on back soon. Um, but for as for now, if you uh, want to reach out to me in regards to this video or other videos that you have watched. Um, feel free to pop me a DM on my Instagram handle that is in the description box below. And also, um, those of you uh, that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is uh, in the description box below also. All right, let's get started. Tell me about the new love that Aries is currently dealing with here. What are they currently thinking and feeling towards Aries right now? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 2021. Tell me about this new love that Aries is currently dealing with here. What are they currently feeling and thinking towards Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 2021. All right, we have the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. Mm. We have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay, the Seven of Cups. All right, the Three of Pentacles. The Page of Wands. All right, there you are, Aries. You could be dealing with another Aries here or another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, the Eight of Wands. And the Hierophant here. Taurus energy. So I'm already feeling like there's this energy of this person wanting to put in the effort. I feel like this person with the magician here has what it takes to sort of like make their own dreams come true, sort of make your dreams come true. There's this energy of wanting to work together here and move towards commitment and marriage in the future. So it seems like this is like new love here, especially with the page of wands being here. I mean, I feel like you guys might have been dating for a while. The dating cycle could be ending here and perhaps, you know, you guys will have talks about moving towards something um, more um, stable and long-term. Um, so let's see, get some more messages here for you. Tell me about this magician here. Why is this magician here? Why is this magician here? Hey, Aries, feel free to switch, switch the roles if you want. Uh, this could be what you're thinking and feeling about your person, uh, your, your new lover. So um, just apply to your own unique situation. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Um, tell me about the uh, magician here. Why is this magician here? Why is this magician here? All right, let's see here. Magician. The Fool. More Aries energy here. Yeah, I mean, there is this like really fun energy with you guys. Very lighthearted. Just very easygoing. Things sort of flow. I mean, things could be moving a bit quickly, especially if you're dealing with another fire sign. Um, you know, I would recommend like pumping the brakes a little if it's moving too fast. Uh, because when things are rushed, 
things don't last, so keep that in mind. Let's see, tell me about the Seven of Cups. Wow, Ten of Cups, look at that. So whoever this person is that you're with, I mean, this person is dreaming about, about a Ten of Cups with you. This person is with the magician here. Basically, they're in this energy of like, you know, I have what it takes to, for me and Aries to take it to the next level to get to this Ten of Cups energy. I mean, you have the Ten of Cups here and the Hierophant. This looks really, really good. I'm going to put those back in. I didn't set the intention. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. Why is this Three of Pentacles here? All right, the Moon card. So Cancer, Pisces, Energy. Tell me about this Page of Wands. All right, the Page of Pentacles. I mean, this is definitely new love. I mean, Aries, um, both of these might be young. Could be that you might be dealing with someone that's younger than you. Or that, you know, they could be the same age as you, but they might be, um, you know, energetically young at heart or something like that. Uh, tell me about this uh, Eight of Wands. Right, the Queen of Pentacles, okay. Why is this a Hierophant here? The High Priestess. Look at that, we have the Seven of Cups again. Aries, there you are, look. The uh, Emperor here, the Lovers. So, you guys, I feel like you guys, talk, I mean, I, up until this point, I feel like you guys talk a lot about like deep, very deep emotional stuff. And whoever this person is, this person is very stable. I mean, I, I could see why this person has what it takes to like take it to like the next level, you know, marriage, uh, family, kids. I mean, this, this Queen of Pentacles is about, you know, commitment, uh, balance, stability here. So, I mean, there's this energy of basically I'm getting like a ride or die energy. There's this energy of like really like working together to get to this point. If there's challenges, overcoming these challenges. Um, I do feel like it's a very spiritual connection, whatever you guys are, are uh, going through and, and experiencing right now. You know, so a lot of the times the Seven of Cups means, you know, illusions, confusion and stuff like that. But sometimes I, it also, for me, it could mean that, you know, this person is willing to give you everything that you've ever dreamed of sort of thing, uh, sort of energy. So yeah, look, we have this Eight of Cups on the top of the deck again. There's this energy of like putting effort into this, really wanting to work together. And Aries, I feel like you want that yourself too. I mean, you're coming up in your read here. I mean, this is, um, this is a very, you know, controlled, stable energy also, just like the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, this emperor has their shit together. I mean, this emperor has achieved everything in their life. And they just, you know, want the extension of that, a partner. All right, let's see. All right, tell me about uh, Aries' new love. What are their intentions towards Aries moving forward here? And like I said, I feel like it might be moving a little quickly. I mean, this earth energy might have some fire in their chart. I mean, I feel like someone here might be a bit spunky, feisty. Um, so yeah, like I said, if it's moving a little quickly, pump the brakes. Because I do truly believe that if, if it's rushed, it won't last. Um, that's coming from personal experience too. Um, all right, tell me about Aries' this new love. What are their intentions towards Aries moving forward? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the rest of July and eternity. Let's get one more here. All right, let's see. Splitting the 
attack. All right, we have the Two of Swords here. All right, we have the King of Pentacles. So we have a pair here. So this is like a strong soul tie. Like I said, I feel like this is a very spiritual connection too. Uh, we have the Death card. Um, Scorpio energy. The High Priest is showing up again. The Queen of Cups here. Okay. We have Judgment, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy, and the Five of Pentacles. Get some more messages before I say anything else. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Why is this King of Pentacles here? Why is this King of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Tell me about the death card. Death, death over death. Tell me about the high priestess. Hmm, the eight of swords. Tell me about the queen of cups. All right, you have the eight of wands again. Tell me about judgment. The Ten of Pentacles. We, yeah, look at that. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. Okay. You know, I feel like you guys might hit some roadblocks moving forward because I feel like there's this energy of really not knowing much about each other. And I feel like, it, like I said, it, it, I, I do feel like there's this energy of moving very, very quickly. I do feel like both of you are going to be working towards this Ten of Pentacles right here. Uh, yeah, like I said, I feel like you know, when relationships move too quickly, they burn out quickly. And this is what's going to happen. And you don't want this to happen. So that's why I keep saying, you know, if it if it's going to be rushed, it's not going to last. Because you actually want to take the time to get to know each other. Uh, allow the relationship to evolve and grow naturally. Yeah, there's this energy of moving very quickly. Uh, so I don't know if it's this queen that's trying to seal the deal quickly or something like that, or you, it could be both of you guys. But there's this energy of sort of like, yeah, not knowing too much about each other. And I, I, I do feel like things are moving too quickly. But I feel like you guys do, I feel like things are going pretty well. I really do feel that. Just make sure I don't rush because this is going to happen here. Yeah, this is my own personal experiences where, you know, when a relationship is rushed, it does get burnt, it does get burnt out pretty quickly. Um, so I do feel like with the Two of Swords here, there still needs to be more, sort of like, st more study on each other. Like, I feel like there's, like, I feel like you guys don't know much about each other yet and it's moving too quickly. Uh, like I said, yeah, I feel like if it does, if it does, it, it, I mean, things are going to close out very quickly. I feel like you just, I feel like you guys just closed out a cycle from, you know, just being friends and dating to, you know, actually taking things to the next level and moving towards the next level here. Because uh, I do see that you guys have like 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles in your future here. And I do feel like this is a very, very strong soul tie, especially with the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles being here. Um, I do feel like this, these queens, this king and this emperor is the same person here. So yeah, Aries, I feel like it's going pretty well. But um, like I said, just pump, pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. So uh, Aries, if this uh, reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment. Oh, you can't comment, sorry. Uh, feel free to pop me a DM in my Instagram handle. 
um, and share this video. If you know someone that needs to hear this, uh, subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell. And I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.